Hey everyone, so there's an another crack that has opened up and another fissure that has become apparent as of yesterday, or I guess this morning it was confirmed. But the experts from the Icelandic Meteorological Office flew with the Coast Guard over the eruption sites yesterday and it was revealed that the eruptions have now grown to eight. And reports of this were coming in from yesterday morning. Now the eruptions are all in the same fissure and the fissure is still directly above the magma chamber that made its way to the Earth's crust in February. So a number of these earthquakes were observed in many parts of the southwestern part of the country, which is the Reykjanes Peninsula, and that is how we have the eruption that we have now. Now, the lava flow in Gallingadalut is still consistent, and it's about 5 to 8 cubic meters of lava flowing per second, and it has remained around that for some time, so they're not really expecting a huge influx of or a huge increase of lava flow although there were some reports yesterday saying that they believed that it was increasing with these new fissures opening up but as of the news today they're saying that it's around five to eight cubic meters per second now the first two eruptions that formed as the eruption got started are still the largest in the area and you can see on the MBF webcam, web, uh, MBF webcam, for instance, and the other streaming sites that they are the biggest. Now, hiking trails A and B are still open, but hiking trail B will pretty much be the only one pretty soon. If you take a look at this map here, you can see that the lava has actually started to impede and go over top of the initial original hiking trail a so they've had to remap it rework the the hiking trail a and make it in a way that was safe for everyone to go visit now they're saying that perhaps only the trail b will be the one to use but we'll see how things go from there now i've, I've had a lot of comments asking exactly where this is so you can see here it's pretty close you can see here on the circle, the first one here is Keplavik Airport. We got the Blue Lagoon coming up next. And then we have, with the red pin and the circle around it, the eruption site. And parking is close by, so it's very, very close. The last thing I want to take a look at is the air quality that's reported to be in the Reykjavik area throughout the day today. Now they're saying that the wind is pushing some of these volcanic gases and sulfur pollution into the Reykjavik and other densely populated areas for the next around 72 hours. If you have any underlying conditions and you're in the Reykjavik area that perhaps maybe you're not the best lungs, you might want to take a little bit of care in terms of staying inside and closing your windows and not exerting yourself outdoors. Now this will be passing pretty quick as you can see in the video here. And uh, if we take a look at this map, I mean, Reykjavik's not even showing that bad and then we move to the north and Akrari in the north has terrible air quality I'm not sure what's going on up there but i would say that uh, it's not sort of an immediate emergency danger level just something to be aware of if you're in the Reykjavik area so that's it it's a quick update one thing i also wanted to mention is we've designed this cute little volcano logo it says gelengadala as well and you can take a look we opened up a teespring store Take a look, see if you like it. I think the water bottle looks amazing as well as the coffee cup, personally. But, uh, you know, if you want to commemorate this eruption, take a look and see if there's anything that you like. So until next time, I will be sure to keep you all updated. And until then, thank you so much for watching.